What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. What started off as a normal disaster detail turned out to be a complete nightmare because this vehicle was absolutely infested with roaches. It was just downright disgusting. This vehicle didn't look that disgusting at first. There was some trash and some stains, but it was what was hiding underneath the carpet that was just absolutely just mind blowing. And I didn't find the roaches till later on in the video. So you guys will see go to pull the carpet that there was just hundreds of roaches just swarming around. So if you guys wanna see how exactly I cleaned this vehicle and how I got rid of the roaches, make sure you guys stick around to the very end because this vehicle made an absolute amazing transformation. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and roll these with four shots and get right into this disaster detail. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this detail is get all the floor mats and all the loose trash removed before moving on to a pre-vacuum. And after the pre-vacuum, I can go ahead and get this carpet pulled out of the vehicle before moving on to the seat extraction. So this is when I realized that this vehicle was absolutely infested with roaches. So what I did is I brought the vehicle right outside. I put my ozone machine in there for about four or five hours, realized that did absolutely nothing. So I went to the store and got some bug bombs and I put probably about 14, 15 in here. You guys will see in a second, but that eventually killed all the roaches because you guys will see later on in the video, I do a little aftermath of all the roaches and it's just absolutely disgusting. Since there's about a billion roaches in there. You're about to give them some sleeping medicine. Once 
when I set these things off, they were pretty gnarly, so I was unable to set off a couple of them. But later on, probably about a day later, I was able to set off probably five or six more. So that eventually killed all these roaches. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and move right into the seed extraction while this vehicle is outside, just getting straight bombed away. <laughs> But for the seed extraction, we're gonna use our Extreme APC as a cleaner, our Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. And these seats actually, they're probably the worst seats I've ever done. They weren't dirty at all, but they were like, I don't know, it was like a waterproof material. So every time the seat would get wet, it would just start fading off. So on camera, the seats don't look clean because they're wet, but once they dry, they look absolutely brand new again. And also, when you guys are doing extractions, you want to make sure you get these seams really well. Because you can see on the seams of the seat, the stains keep coming back. So you always want to make sure you push down your extractor as hard as you can to make sure you get in all those deep cracks and crevices. So later on when the seat dries, the stains don't come back up.
After all the seats have been properly cleaned, they are set out in the sun to dry for a couple hours. And now it's time to move back on the interior. The first thing I'm gonna do is vacuum up all these dead roaches and their eggs. And also you guys wanna make sure if you do a vehicle with roaches, you clean your vacuum thoroughly right after, because just because you killed the roaches, the eggs are still alive and they will hatch some nasty roaches. And that's the last thing you want in your shop or your house or your garage or anywhere. So always wanna make sure you clean your tools and keep the vehicle outside. I know this vehicle was in my shop, but I didn't know it has roaches. So as soon as I seen that it had roaches, it went straight outside. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to cleaning the rest of this interior. And for this, I'm using our Extreme APC, followed by our Mad Detailing Boris Hair Detail Brushes. And then I'm using our steamer to loosen up all this nasty roach grease. And I'm gonna follow that up with a microfiber to mop everything up.
And it seems like the owner spilled some paint underneath the carpet. I'm not sure exactly how they did that and it wasn't on the carpet, but either way, I clean it as best as I can on video, but I do go back later on and get all the paint removed, but I didn't want to bore you guys with, you know, me sitting here cleaning paint for hours and hours and hours. But yeah, even though the customer wouldn't be able to see the paint, I still wanted to get it removed because I just, I, I can't leave stuff if I know it's there. So that's why I spent so much time getting removed. But I'm gonna repeat the same process on the floor, make sure I get all the nastiness removed, any leftover roach guts, eggs, anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the carpet extraction.